folks, how are we doing? I'm gonna sell off some of my equipment. If you follow my channel, you may wonder, what the heck am I gonna do with all this stuff? I can't constantly use it, and that's kind of the challenge, is I wanna show you all these different tools in action and on different size machines, and then you wind up with what you have going on here. So, I really don't want all the stuff sitting all winter long. I'm gonna sell it for 20% off the regular price. Most of it's only been used a handful of times, not used a lot, all right? And uh, most of it's from this year, bless, you the cameraman most of it's been used just this year so there's a few pieces here and there that i've had for a little bit longer than that maybe another year or so um, but still not a lot of use on them they'll be sold with full warranty they're gonna have scratches and signs of use because i use them other than that though uh, full warranty same terms as the other stuff uh, you can do a firm financing on it if you want to free shipping to 36 states you get rewards we'll have a listing on the website it's going to be um I think a standalone listing for a quantity of one. I've got one of whatever we're gonna sell here. And once it's gone, it's gone. So reference that for the, the pricing and everything else. Let's get going. All right, so here is a double roller pulverizer. This is four foot wide. Um, a lot of the folks, the first year that we were selling them, just had the single roller. They really wanted the double roller, so that's what we're stocking mostly now are double rollers. We get these in various sizes, but I am selling off my uh, unit here. Still got to use that. We're not going to sell that. Still going to use that. Colt Packer, I'm done with this for the year. This is a, what is this, 72 inch, I think? Yep. CP972, 72 inch. I use this uh, for all our food plots and everything else out here this year. Quick hitch compatible, dirt dog. I was using this on the Summit tractor. Didn't use that on the 1025R, might be a little big for it, but uh, the Summit pulled it very well. This guy here is the old style ag spray. Okay, 55 gallon three point sprayer. It's got the booms on there that extend out, uh, includes a hose reel. I will say I broke a fitting on the hose reel, so it does need a new one of those. Where's that at? Somewhere on, yeah, I broke this fitting right off that, uh, oh, it goes on here. You know, somewhere. Ties into it. Where the heck's it? Oh, right on here on the handle. That's where it goes. I thought it broke the other end. I broke that fitting there. So we'll see if we can get a new fitting to throw on there. But uh, that was a knucklehead move on my part. Done with the plow. Next year, I'm going to try out a bigger plow. So this is what we used in a video this year. Only been used one time for that field, just for demo purposes. It's an Ironcraft single bottom plow. That's the uh, the short version for the smaller, the smaller uh, subcompacts and smaller compacts. Oh, what else? Brush Crusher, BC4215. Filmed this one in quite a few videos. May show you a different version in the future, but all done with this, so great shape all around. Really not that much wear, even though I've put a decent amount of time on it. I'm up in the air on these Ironcraft grapples. I know I'm gonna get some bigger sizes. Not sure if these will be on the on the listing uh, included in that sale yet or not. You may see them, you may not. Was I gonna sell this? I'm gonna hang on to this one. I'm gonna hang on to that precision. All three of my flail mowers I'm selling off. Okay, so we've got the Funny Top 62 inch, okay? That one's from this year. Now the Centurion is actually, I think this is three seasons old, but I haven't used it. I didn't use it at all this year. It's just gonna be sun faded on there. Um, I think I used it once last year. It doesn't have a lot of time on it. I just have so many products, only, only so many videos to make. So 62 inch Centurion. Now this one, you can see, Hydraulic shift and tilt, all right? Good for a four series tractor or a five series tractor. Let's skip over to this flail mower since we're talking about them. This is my Flipper Super. I used this on my Kubota M4 this year. Absolutely love this mower. I just like trying different things out. So I don't want it to sit all winter long. I'm gonna sell it off. We'll, we'll show another one or something similar uh, next year as well that I'll use. It's a beast. You can't put this on anything smaller than like a utility tractor, like a five series uh, or a Kubota M4 or something similar. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, 
We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. I'm gonna sell off this prototype never got any further than that it is too expensive to put into production but it's got a main ballast box here and then it's got two side ballast boxes on it that you can actually take this side and move it over to this other side all right and the reason for that was if you are going to be traveling along like a ditch bank or something and you want to have a lot of counterweight on the other side this gives you the ability to do so it has some built-in storage tubes there to bring along some tools with you two inch receiver you know, quick hitch compatible, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's gonna be pricey. I gotta look at the numbers and see where we gotta be at on it, but I'll make a good deal. It's, it's just been weathered. Um, it was kind of a dead project, so it's just been hanging out. I haven't been using it because I didn't wanna get anybody's hopes up at the, at the time. Rear blade, I'm all done with this guy. What is this one, 3506? So this is a six foot blade on here. You can see it swivels around either direction and angles. These are a manual, manual side shift all right and so you see these extra holes here you can unbolt unbolt this center plate here and shift it over and rebolt it here or same thing over on the other side if you want to quick hitch compatible as well and maybe we'll go down there afterwards not selling not selling not selling not selling not selling uh yeah this guy this guy we can sell i'm gonna try another mower on here too this is a 10 foot, we showed this earlier. Uh, pulled this behind my Kubota M4. Honestly, one of the best values that are out there if you're looking for a big old brush hog. Three point mount, weighs, I think it was a couple thousand pounds. You gotta have, it's, it's a good fit for, a, uh, for a, a utility tractor like the 5 Series or the Kubota M4 again, but uh, awesome cutter, great value. And again, 20% off list. I'm going to go ahead and sell this debris grapple. This is my HLA debris grapple. I've used this one a lot on my 100 horsepower skid steer. Only thing, not I wouldn't say wrong with it, we got to just straighten out these bottom tines. They screw in. These are uh, it's weird spelling. I forget how you even spell it, but uh, Verlin tines where they all go in. And if you bend one, you can just unbolt the individual tine and replace it. If they, uh, they loosen up a little bit over time and I just got to loosen them a bit more, straighten them out and then tighten them back up. But a sweet double jaw, heavy duty HLA grapple. Bigger Cult of Packer, use this one again on my Kubota M4. This is the 16 inch version, the CP1696, eight foot wide, great fit for the Kubota. I probably shouldn't sell it, but we'll just use another one next year. Again, some of the stuff I'm just selling, I don't want it to sit over winter and I want to free up some space. I've got more attachments down that way that I want to get over here as well. I just want to, I need to, I need to have a little bit less. Am I going to sell that disc? Yeah, I'll sell this disc. This one's two years old, not used a ton. Well, it's probably got 20 hours on it. Maybe I did a lot of disking out here this year, did disking at um, our other property last year on it. I mean, overall great shape. You can see, I mean, it's in, it's in excellent shape. Uh, this one has the disc cleaners on it too. Okay, that's what these little, maybe it's hard to see in the video, but there's these little straps, these steel straps that are on each each disc, and that keeps the mud off. If you have a, you know, if you're disking in really wet conditions, it's going to help scrape that stuff off of there uh, and keep them clean. Okay, going to be selling two of my trailers. I don't need five Ultra Tech trailers. We did uh, did that to show you what they're all about. You know, you gotta you gotta show this stuff to help you guys make better decisions. So uh, the hydraulic version we're gonna sell, the cheapest one you're ever gonna get, 20% off. They are incredibly pricey. And we don't stock these even because they are so pricey, but somebody can get one for 20% off. I've actually I've actually never used it. It's only been assembled and, and put there for video. Uh, this, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this trailer here. This is the tandem axle non-earth mover. All right, I'm keeping my earth mover. Decided that one, I like the reinforced bottom on it. I don't like how it has a swing gate on the back of the earth mover, but I think I can take some pins instead of bolts. 
so I can just unpin the rear gate if I want to. Um, it's got the pistons to lift up. This has the rear gate that just pulls right out. I do like that better, but um, selling this guy here, sweet trailers. I love these trailers. Not selling, not selling, not selling. Just those two down there I'm selling. All right, that wraps it up for here. Split fire is all demo equipment, so that stuff is not being sold. I think I got a few more items over here, though. Let's check them out. Oh, I that little I'm thing. Sure. No, hold up. Yeah. This is a Titan fence line trimmer. I thought this thing would be awesome. I didn't particularly love it. We did pick it up with a grapple and then drop it back down just because I don't really care about it. But all it did is put a scratch on the top. Um, I'm going to sell this for a lot less, more than 20% off because I'm just going to. I got to see what the price is. You'll see it in the listing there. But fence line trimmer, good price. I used it a couple times and I just decided I don't. That's, that's not the route I'm going to go. I'm going to go a different route. Yeah, this roller here, this roller is just sitting. This company decided to no longer make rollers. They, it's too bad. They made really, really nice rollers at a good price. Uh, but I don't love to show things that I don't sell because that creates a lot of customer confusion. And so that's why you haven't seen it in any future videos. Um, so I'm going to sell this off. I'll, I'll look up the pricing and, and give you guys a good deal. It's several years old, but it hasn't used, been used all that much. Um, besides, I, they paint these just so they don't look bad coming out of the factory. But when you're rolling, rolling them around, the paint's all going to wear off anyway. So that's just kind of is what it is. But anyway, um, this is a big bulky item, though. So that's the challenge with some of these bigger items is that the shipping is costly because of their size. So, but I'll do what I can on that and try to get you a fair price. Oregon Tiller. This is my unit that I used this year a few times. Only one year on it. Maybe five, six hours of runtime. Really nice shape all around. The um, Dirt Dog now has their four foot tiller that's available. That was the one size that they were missing. And so we'll be pushing that one in the future. Uh, that's what we sell for the larger tillers as well. And uh, ideal an Oregon brand for the 48 inch and great tillers. Nothing wrong with them, both made in America with US and imported parts, but uh, I just like having the continuity from 48 up through 84 with one brand um, with Dirt Dog. Not selling this, probably in the future. This is a prototype mega wrecker. Just give you a little sneak peek at it, but will not be in the sale. This is, this is our biggest, our newest stump record that we have available well not available yet i gotta test this one out and see if we have to do any reinforcing but made for utility tractors skid steers all that kind of stuff another 50 percent bigger all around compared to our heavy duty wrecker boom boom see this is what happens with backhoes they just sit here and, and fade away i never use that thing i know some of you guys do and I, I get it but that's why i make a case for for not buying a backhoe because that's how this that thing hasn't been on my 1025r in probably almost two years a long 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 time selling this thing i don't like it it's a piece of junk before warned i bought this uh, cheapest cedar i could find on amazon i have been taping up these brittle plastic seed cups and hoses and replacing them this is like a what was this was it like a dryer or what was this yeah a dryer drain pipe that I found I think at Lowe's or something and replace that you can see this one's cracking I'm not fixing these things up this sold like it is the chain keeps falling off it's a ground drive the chain keeps falling off so I'll sell this at a it's a fixer upper okay but it's only been used for one season I tried to use it this season and it was already falling apart but there's a lot of good base here you just need to spend the time on a little stuff improving it so anyway it was cheap to begin with this will be cheaper even cheaper now. And then this is my Yapa firewood processor. Okay. This is PTO driven. We did some video on it. This will be the best deal that's out there. This is um, a couple years old, but we only ran it for a few hours for demo purposes and selling it off. So it's going to be far and away the cheapest one that's out there. Um, and this kind of stuff, we, well, all the stuff we can ship. This will come shipped though on a hotbed. Or, uh, sorry, a hot shot, a flatbed trailer. You have to have a way to get this off. Okay, so a big forklift, 
something, a big machine uh, with forks to, to offload this. Comes with the log rack and the, uh, the, the unit itself. Uh, only other thing, no, there's two other things I can think of that I want to sell. And if we find anything else around here, we'll throw that in the listing too. But UTV sprayer, um, I'm all done with that. So that'll be sold. We did some video on that last year. I've only used that a few times in very good condition, 45 gallon tank sprayer. And then my Casco seed, uh, cedar. Okay, so that's like six years old. I haven't used it in a couple of years and the mechanism that turns and rotates is seized up. So you might be able to free that up. You may have to get a new mechanism. I don't know. We're not looking into it, investigating it. I'm not trying to spend more time than I need to on this stuff. It's kind of a sold as is type of deal, but I'll make a really good deal on it. I'm not looking to put it anywhere near new pricing on there. So uh, look for that on there too. I think that's going to do it, but check the listing out. That's where you get the pricing. You'll find all the other stuff, you know, on our website as far as details and specs and all that. A couple of these items like that Casco Cedar, we don't sell those, but you can find that on Casco's website too. And yeah, kind of a first time doing this. We'll see how it goes. If it goes well, maybe we'll do it again next year at the end of the season and uh, keep it going. So a good opportunity for you to get a good value on equipment, save some money. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.